<coughs> Sometimes in North Carolina, we have a lot of pollen and it's driven by the fact that we have a lot of pine trees and oak trees and they each go through a period when they put out a lot of pollen and it's crazy if you want to breathe, sometimes it chokes you. And so sometimes I like to take an antihistamine and drink it down with a glass of water. Now, the thing is, is that I really have no idea if this pill actually works in me and I'll take it and maybe it will work, maybe it won't work. And in truth, I won't even know because of the fact that the placebo effect is known as a well-known thing, which is in other words, you can give people sugar pills and people will sometimes respond to that. And that's true even in serious diseases like cancer, where people will take a dummy medication and respond to it. Now, imagine a technology that will actually tell you if the pill is working and I'll do it by transmitting a signal. Now, last week I told you that I would be happy to have a chip embedded in me with all the information that I need for life's daily routines, paying for stuff with a credit card, having to show my identity to get into a building, passwords for computers, keys to enter your car, your house. Imagine if you had something that was in you that would transmit the information that was necessary for you to get in. And it's unique, it's locked up, it's secure. And I told you that this would be, for me, an incredible use of blockchain technology. And it would be an incredible use of digital technology. Now today, I want to tell you that you can actually do what I mentioned earlier, which is that you can take a pill and you can swallow it. And when it gets into your gut and it starts to react with the juices, the gastric juices in your stomach, it will actually send a signal to a patch and it will record the moment that it starts to be active and it will start to transmit data, which would then be on your cell phone on an app and it would now be recorded and you would now know whether or not the pill that you are taking is actually having an effect. In other words, is your body even recognizing the chemical that is embedded in this pill? And this data would then be recorded on a cell phone, kept in there through an app. And obviously this is sensitive data because it tells the app that you are taking certain pills. It also tells the app when you are taking these pills. In its own way, it is a record of compliance of whether or not you are following along with your medication. And in addition to that, it also tells you whether the medication is effective or not. And this has huge applicability to once again, the blockchain, because once again, the blockchain is very good in terms of being able to organize data so that it can be kept securely and that you can permission it only under very specific situations and where credible parties have to give their permission for that data to be released. So this is not actually a piece of science fiction anymore. The FDA, which is the arm of the government that approves drugs, approved the very first digital pill last year. It's for a drug called Abilify and it's for schizophrenia. And today you can go to your doctor and if you want Abilify in this e-pill way, you would ask for it and you would be assigned the pill, the patch and the app. And you would now be have agreed to being monitored in terms of your compliance with taking this pill. And you would also get the benefit of knowing whether the pill works or not. And I can tell you that other drug companies are very interested in this because the government has shifted the way that it pays for medication to where it wants to pay 
only when something works instead of paying just for the act of prescribing it to you or when you pick it up from the pharmacy. And so the drug companies are very interested to get paid when their drugs work. And even more for them, they understand that having a digital pill has the likelihood of really shrinking the cost of developing drugs. Because one of the biggest issues when you test for a drug is that you give the drug to a person, however, you never know if they're taking it. So you have no idea if they're being compliant. So they may say that they're taking it four times a day. They may say they're taking it every hour. And there's no way to really know. With a digital pill, a drug company can know what it is that you are actually doing with the drug. And perhaps the drug actually works. However, the patients are un in compliant. And this technology, as I said, already exists. We already have the first approved drugs. And in researching this particular video, I found out that there are at least two more drugs in the work of existing drugs where companies want to put this, this E form of pill with essentially a sensor that will go into here, which is perfectly safe for you to ingest, perfectly safe for it to go through your gut and for it to come out of you if that's what's necessary. And where they can now track when you take your pills, how often you take your pills, whether it's working or not. And I believe it is ultimately going to lead to a revolution first in how we test for drugs, how we test whether people are compliant with their drugs, and will also drive more adoption of the blockchain, a technology that I've been telling you about for some time that I'm incredibly positive about, and that I've released a special promotional video and a special report for my Profits Unlimited subscribers. So if you're interested in blockchain, I've been telling you in my previous videos that you can check out Profits Unlimited and that way you can get access to my special report. Also, you can also invest in cloud computing companies that would be the beneficiaries of storing a lot of this data. And the second is chip companies that are going to be making the chips that whether they go into a pill or anything else, there's gonna be a boom in chip making. Now, the company that actually makes the electronic pill, the e-pill itself is private. And when it does come public, if you're a subscriber, to one of my services, you can bet that I'll be telling you about it. So that's my video for this week. This is Paul Mampilli for Winning Investor Daily.